On the last one, I'm pretty sure things happened involving a spider train. And on this one, I suspect more spider things will happen. Spider train things will happen. We are on our way to our next location, which as you can see, based on the big honkin' X, is relatively nearby. Ooh, we got a bridge to go over. I think this would be a bad time to get hit by a spider train. Just saying. Okay. I just thought I should I should look and make sure there's there's no one coming. I th think that is the stop button. Is that the stop the stop lever? And we might actually need to go forward just a touch more. I'm not sure. Um Nah, we did technically just get past the thing. Although Oh yeah, we can't back up into that one because there's no way to switch which track we're going into. So, I guess we're going to hoof it on foot over to um, probably Journal Returnal. And then all the way over here to this guy. And I suspect, if I'm not mistaken, there's probably a mine nearby. Although I know we have the one up north. But I don't know, maybe not. Maybe there's a, a mine over here or something. But just the same... Let us go track down a journal returnal and all, all that sort of jazz. So here, we'll mark that guy, which I figured is probably right here. With a little luck, we'll find a bunch of scrap today so we can do some more upgrades. I would hope that we don't find a bunch and then get murderized by a spider train and lose all of it, because, boy, that would stink. Looks like our journal is going to be in this building right here, and I say our journal. It's not the journal that is ours. It's one we are... Trying to locate for some dude who's waiting for a boat. And he seems to think the boat is going to arrive and take him to safety. I don't know that I'm convinced that's going to happen for him, but you know what? I don't want to be the one to crap on his hopes, so... You know, let's keep this a crap-free show, okay? No crapping. Cat, that goes double for you. No surprises in here, it appears. Ooh, there's a hammer, though. It's too bad we can't use that. And some explodey splodies. I guess it's going to be in here, huh? Yeah. I'm guessing it's the big yellow book. Okay. So we can now return to Santiago and give him his journal back. But since we're out this way, let us carry on further down the road. I mean, you know, we got nothing to lose at this point except all the scrap and inventory. We got 14 scraps. That's going to be enough for, like, one upgrade. Probably. Maybe. Ooh, I see more scrappy scraps. I've been kind of wondering, does scrap regenerate? Does it respawn in the world? I think I've asked this question before. I still don't know. If you told me, uh, honestly, I missed, the, I missed the comments, so... Um, tell me again. Say, you're that monster hunter. Yes. I must know, do you have any experience with ghosts? I have so much experience with ghosts that it has wrapped around to having zero. Someone or something has been pinning exactly 16 drawings to lampposts in the boulder field every night. I always collect and burn them, but as I was looking for them last night, I began hearing strange noises and seeing strange things. How strange. I only found half of them yesterday because of the commotion. Could you go find the last date and bring them to me? Okay. So you want us to collect... Papers, basically. Flyers. Ooh, what do we have here? For the past seven days, there have been some strange happenings in the nearby boulder field. A week ago, I went over there to clear my mind, as I often do, and found a strange drawing, strange drawing pinned to a lamppost. I took down the page and burned it because it seemed like the best way to deal with paranormal paper. The next night, I found even more drawings and burned them as well. I found exactly 16 drawings multiple nights in a row, and now they're accompanied by horrific, ghastly noises. I don't feel safe going out there again. My best guess is the place is haunted. Maybe by our lost crew members? Maybe by something else. Yeah, I don't know. That, that sounds very haunted and strange-like. So, we're probably going to be in this general vicinity. Look at that. Or we need to go collect a bunch of papers, and then she's going to burn them, I, I presume. I mean, since that's kind of what she does, I suppose if she's going to be burning them, then, you know, if she's, if she's doing any sort of heating by way of fire, then it's kind of convenient for her, because then she's got some kindling to work with, basically. That would be Uno right there. 
Yeah, that's strange. I would categorize that sound as unusual and certainly unexpected. And perhaps I would even go so far as to say, yes, strange. I haven't seen any ghosts, though. Okay, here's another lamppost. This is going to be number two. Ooh, new sounds. And there would be a ghost. Well, that seems bad. Okay. Uh, you seem like something I should run from. So let's go ahead and grab number three. And we... Dead? Not dead. Interesting. Okay. Um, did it... It kicked us out of the area. Is that what happened? I don't... I don't know what happened. Okay. We're back to that again. So I'm guessing... No? Okay. I mean, we didn't die. Don't die from falling. Didn't die from falling. Good news. Here's number four. I've kind of lost track of where we've been, honestly, so this is going to be extra stupid. Let's go up, just because this might give us a, a bit of a vantage point from which we can see the ghosts coming to eat our brains or whatever it is ghosts to. I'm not sure. I might be confusing ghosts with zombies. I play a lot of zombie games. Okay. Can you climb up the ridge? Because I don't think I can. And I feel better about things if you can't as well. Okay. Ow! My leg! I'm guessing that there's someone around over there. Yoink! Yoink a doodle do! Okay, we're still missing a bunch of them here. But I'm going to make sure we grab that. Probably missed one right there. Scrap that is. Ow, my leg. I think this is number five right here. Yoink that. And I think we've kind of wrapped around to where we started, if I'm not mistaken. So, apparently, I just need to do some fast forwarding or some sort of fancy cutting stuff. Because... I think I'm going to be wandering around for a while trying to find the last three, because this is kind of maze-like after all. That would be a spider train. I'm going to die from the fall. Excellent. So I'm guessing what happened there is the ghost catches you twice, and then it spawns Charlie or something. Charles. Keep calling him Charlie, I don't know why. He's Charlie to me. But still missing one of the things, and I don't know if it has... Eh, it does. It gave us credit for seven. Still got to find one more. By the way, if you're wondering, just how annoying is it to be running around with the color changing and the constant pounding of the ghostly various sounds in your ears? Very, very annoying. Let's go find this last page. I'm done with this mission already. And yet, I'm not. Since I can't seem to find that last paper and we are right near an NPC, I thought, let's go visit the NPC. You know what would have been a good idea? Is spending all of our scrap when we respawned. Unless someone should have thought about that. It's okay though. I think we'll be okay. I mean, there we go. We've. Just since rolling into this place, found enough to replace what we lost by way of Charlie's side, so I think we'll be okay. Ooh, we can get in this train car. Is there anything of interest in here? Someone's home, apparently. Hello? I'll yoink all the scrap, if you don't mind. I know there's someone over here. I mean, it's it said on the map there's an unmet NPC. And whether they are right here... Uh, okay, so they're somewhere in this thing. Because I don't think they're over here. But, there is some scrap over here. I do kind of wonder if we're going to be sent over to this building, but that seems like an awfully short way to go, so I don't know. Let's go upstairs. 
Let's not go upstairs. Oh, no, never mind. The door did open. Oh, hello, sir. How you doing? Welcome to Araniram, Archivist Museum person. Um, okay. My apologies. I'm not the best with introductions, but I don't believe either of us are here for socializing. Yeah, buddy, you're not wrong about that. I just so happen to have a little business opportunity, if you're interested. Color me interested. A very special little box of mine is in a rail car in the nearby canyon, but the goons have set up a camp to protect that area, so be careful. Find the blue box and bring it back to me. I'll give you some scraps as payment. Okay. That sounds like a deal, and I will steal your scraps as prepayment. And extra payment, technically, because I'm not going to let him give me a smaller cut. Before the cave-in, I pushed a spare rail car into the canyon using my beautiful old mining train. I figured a rail car would be a fine place to hide my Im more important belongings, especially on a rural and unfinished track. I went to get something out of my rail car in the canyon about a week ago, but some of Warren's men have built a campsite or base of some sort there. I don't know how to get to my box safely, and I don't know how long I'll last without it. I want to go out on a limb here and say there's something really silly and goofy and completely unnecessary in the box. We'll find out. For now, let me uh, say hi to my fur bags. You can see that one. You can't see the other one because she's right here. There you go. And uh, also say hi to my keyboard. I'm going to go back into this madness here. Let's see. Where are we going, by the way, for that mission? The other direction. Ugh. I'm determined to find this stinking last paranormal paper even if it drives me bonkers and I have to mute the game. Aha! I see the last one. Please go away now. That was not obnoxious at all. Not in the slightest. Sasha! Let's go turn this thing into you. All right, here are your papers. Burn them as you see fit. Papers. Here are some scraps for your help. Much appreciated. Thank you for that. So where are we at here? We have that mission over there. I'm just kind of looking. What we could do is we could take the train and cut down into this area. That would be fine. And then that would give us a chance to hit that guy and come back. I'm not sure entirely how much I want how many of these uh, side missions I really want to do. But, um, no, nah, I think I'm okay with that. Let's let's go ahead and cut into the middle here. That, If nothing else, there's something going on right there, and I, I don't know if that's where we just... No, that's where we were. That's where we found Theodore. So there's something over there. Just not sure what it is, but... Here, we will go ahead and mark this guy. Um... Don't we need to go back to Santiago over there? Yeah, we do. Oh, goodness. I'm going to say we could run it all the way back to Santiago, but... I mean, it would probably be... Ah, fine. Let's go to Santiago. Santiago! Your boat still hasn't Thank come in. so much, but I would hope, for your own good, that you didn't peek inside. Did not. But, um, here are those scraps I promised. Appreciate you. Safe journey to you, my friend. Safe journey to you. I think on that note, we can go ahead and wrap this one up today and call it good where we are. It's very loud over here. We got to get back to, I was about to say, the boat. We need to get back to the train so we can carry on with um, whatever other weird crap we're supposed to do on this place. Because this is a strange, strange island. I mean, really, it is very strange. I think I'm also supposed to be terrified of what's going on, and instead it's just so silly that it's just kind of amusing to me. Which isn't a bad thing, mind you. It's it's very enjoyable, so I'm not complaining, it's just, you know, an observation. So I will meet you probably over here-ish on the next one. Catch that one, Tolan. Thanks for watching. See you later.